Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I do my videos, how I record them. I use just QuickTime Player. Um, I just have to right click it. Instead of clicking it, just right click it and then press this one and then just press go because, you know, that's, uh, it chooses the microphone and the screen recording to show the screen. Uh, but then for the other one, for, for my editor, I use iMovie and it's right here. Yes, finally. Uh, so first to get on here, you you go like on, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, you just end up here at some point. So first of all, I always add my intro first from getting it from the Finder. Because this is Mac, so this doesn't work on uh, things like Windows unless you have iMovie. Uh, but first you can see, like, this is the volume bar. And you can see it's, like, really loud. So what I like to do is put it down low on, like, the 20s right here so it's not like ear rape and then from there I just go to transitions and I put cross blur because it doesn't come with that let me just put this here wait so yeah you see I put this cross blur here so it gives an actual effect see it's not an actual ear rape because I put the music down more and then with this cross effect if I put another video here it's gonna yeah, you see, it does that, but without without this thing, it doesn't do that effect. So now I'll choose another file and put it down here the same way, drag it down here the same way as I did with my intro. And it can be like any file you want. Sometimes you gotta put yourself on full screen because it doesn't show the, the down bar here when it's too slight. Oh god, this video was so long. It was from a, this random war I had. Just so I used it just to use it as an example here. Oh my god, so many deaths. So what I want to do is just randomly select a part of this video. Let me see. Hmm, this seems to be a good part. Let me see. So what I want to do, if I want to, if I want to clip out the video, I can just uh, click here. See, like this margin here. It it shows where you want to go. So I just put it here where you want to cut it. See, like this is where this is just my cursor. And this is where it actually sucks. So what are you gonna do? Just keep it there right click it and you can add like freeze frames you can add uh, you can delete the whole thing over here by just pressing delete or pressing this button or you can copy it cut but what you want to do for you to cut it is just press split clip now these two are two individual ones you can get this one and just delete it you cut it out it's not fully out you can like extend it back and then cut it back again and then just re-add it. It's not completely deleted from your history. I mean your your memory and your computer. So it's just fine. See with this cross blur. Let me see. Can you see the? Yeah, you can see the effect. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Uh, so then we don't need this all this rest of this thing right here. So we're gonna cut it out about right here, and I'll just cut out the rest of all that. Cause it's so laggy. Okay, so yeah, like 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds is good. Uh, so it, what you can do with this is like many different things. You can like cut it out again. You can add frames with it. You can add, make this really slow. It's what you can do. Wait, let me just do this. You can make it really, really slow. Let me see. You can press here, velocity, speed. You can slow it down. So it's like a clip. And then you can... The... Uh, I think... Yeah, the more it is, the slower, the the less it is, the slower it is. So like 20%, it just slows down to that much, like that many frames per second. Like that is very slow. And then you can just put that velocity up again with like 50%, 25%. It even changes up the audio. Uh, but then you can also, that's not even the end of it. Like you can do a lot of more different things. Like you can change the sound of it. Like you can, you can isolate this part and make it sound like extremely high. Like you can see, you can already see if you look down here and you just change the sounds from highest to lowest. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it down like this for now, just to show it. Yeah, it kind of lags a bit because it's in the, in this making, and you can also change. Um, like you can change the the color of how it looks like this or like that or like that you can do so many things 
that, that you always have to isolate this like a part of the video from what you want and unless you want the whole clip like you want this whole thing to look exactly like this then you have to select the whole thing but if you want if you want it to be cut out like that you just have to like use split and then make sure it's like that only that part is concentrated in and what it can also do is um let me see you, you, can, you can also do a lot of stuff you can just re reduce background noise i don't know how that works actually uh, but you can also add titles, which I really like. Like these are a lot, like a lot of fonts. Let me see. They can actually show you how they work. They, they just gotta load a bit. Let me see. Oh, my computer's being slow today. Gotta apologize for that. <sighs> okay, so here, like, you you already see that there's like a line. You can see it from here. You can look in the that that type yeah I can't really explain it cuz I'm that good in English so you, what you're gonna do just drag it over put it on where you want it to be yeah, oops and then you you double click it you can oops oh my god I deleted the whole thing okay you can just put it back in here make sure you're actually selected here and then you can just put any text you can delete that and then put uh, you, you know random stuff and you can also change the color of that to like any color you want yeah like that and if it does that again just kind of double click it again on the screen you can make it any color you want any any way you want it's pretty cool I, I kind of like this editor it's actually really good for a free editor for Mac it already comes with it with the Mac I'm not sure if it does or not but it, I don't know I got it installed for me maybe I don't know oh okay why is it not selecting what Okay, yeah, even though it's a free editor, it can be bad at times like that. It can be a little, you know, pain. <sighs> okay, yeah, you, you see my point. You can change up all the colors you want. So yeah, that's a bunch of gibberish. gibberish. And with that, too, you can, like, select the time how long is it going to be. If you want it to be just in this frame, it's fine. You can put it, like, any time you want. Like, any time you want, just stretch it out as long as you want. Even without a clip. We just put this back over here and I'll just put it in this frame just to make it better so it doesn't look all bundled up like you can this is like my favorite one the standard one but there's also more there's like a bunch more so it's not just that one like this is like roll credits and stuff and this is like extra extra which I really don't like which is just weird oh god yeah yeah I never use these hell no uh, backgrounds, I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't use it. Um, these are for actually what you wanna put in here. These are like sound effects that come in in the in the in the editor. You can add them in here. Like if you want, you can just add them here. It's some weird stuff. I don't know. But you can also, yeah, you can also add your sounds. Y can you? <laughs> this is hard to explain. Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, you can also add like download some so sound files and just put them here I think I don't know I haven't tried it because I never actually had to use it but you can just select anything from here uh, from iTunes yeah you can also get sounds who was flickering the lights yes I used that a few months ago in the video and the transitions here the same thing I will only use cross blur that's like my my favorite one uh, but there's also a lot of new new ones, I think. I don't know if they've been added. But there's also a lot more. I, I never use them because, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't like it when it's too much. But it's cool, yeah, this cross is my favorite. So another thing you can do is, like, what I was saying earlier. You can add, like, photos. One thing you can do is you can put it on top of here. And just put it like this. You can make it fill up the whole screen. Oh god, I think I glitched my... Yeah, I glitched it. Th yeah, this is why you get with the free editor. You, it, sometimes it just glitches, like the play and pause button are gone, and you have to restart your whole thing. But it, but that's fine because it it saves up all your progress, so you don't have to worry about having to press save somewhere, like on Google Docs or no, no, Google Docs does have an auto save. But um, you get my point. You don't have to press save anywhere, so you can just easily exit out. Okay, finally it got back up. You can see it got its stuff back together. And what I was saying is that you can actually add clips, like clips from that's not from the video into it. 
so you can make it you can either make it like this you can make it like this and then you can crop it to like what it the way it's put like this is that it's filling up the whole screen it's not going to show this thing at all it's only going to show this let me make the screen bigger for now so it's going to be like this yeah and then after it's done it's going to be back to the normal video it's not even going to pause or anything it's just going to continue rolling you can make it as long as you want and you can and with these tiny bubbles you can make it like this like you're gonna be able to see the effect look so it's like like a curtain effect kind of kind of kind of I don't know I can't really explain it uh, but but if you don't want to fill up the whole screen you can just do this you could press here put uh, picture in picture and then there you go you have it on your screen like this it only shows up half I mean not half but as big as you want let me, try, let me try centering it because I like it centered. See, like, look at this. It keeps playing the video and showing that same image on on the video. So if you want, it could just be like that. Yep. Let me just put this here so it's less messy. Right? Okay, th no, that's the slow motion one. I'll keep it right here. Make it individual, edit it in there. Okay, never mind. This was the slow motion one. I'm really blind. I'm sorry. And with another one, let me see. Okay, I gotta admit, I do have a lot of DinoSim memes. Because I'm a meme collector for DinoSim, yes. And, well, well, let me not put it like that. If you don't want, if you don't want to waste your space, like, up here, you can only have, like, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. But you can't really have too many things stacking up. Like, you can see, it doesn't go up more than it already is. Let me see. So if I want to add text, uh, it's not really. It's only gonna show up like this. I can't make it more text and more images on top of it. It doesn't go. It's not like that. With the cheap, I mean not a cheap, but with the free editor, there's you got a lot of limits. So I can't make it more than like that. So if you don't want to waste space on stacking up your stuff, you can just simply slip the image inside of it like that. Yeah, you see. That image is like that. Whoops. Oh, where, where did I get that? Okay, that was just an example. Okay, with the with this, I can make a lot of things. Like I can make it, uh, Keen Burns, make it, uh, start up at like that, and then in the end, I can just make it go over here. Yeah, on the spinal space. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna zoom in like that, just like that. And you can also switch it up to crop and fill. That's gonna be, like, it's gonna just fill up the whole image and fit is just gonna fill up the whole screen uh, so that let me just put it right here you can end it like that or you can make it vice versa make it and end like that start like this and then end it in the bigger like that see it just zooms out yeah you can make you can also stretch out the clip if it's like that you can stretch it out yeah so it goes in slower and since I mentioned also earlier in the video I could also add in volume down here myself I'm just gonna use my intro as my example so I can just put it down here boom it's already a file it's already like extra extra audio I can also edit the sounds like you see down here again on the yellow and red the higher it is the oh my god if I turn on my if I play this is gonna be super loud so I'm just gonna put it down like that so it could be it kind of could be like a background music. oh god so as I was saying you can actually edit the you know audio uh, let me see what sound is it at okay that's too low that's too high for deaf people what well, actually deaf people can't hear so uh, you can actually cut the audio but there's also a limit to it you can only cut a little bit like a few times before it actually doesn't tell you the option to cut anymore so with this cutting you can actually like separate it into different parts you can extend it and uh, I don't think that's a good idea because it, it will just like just repeat it you know it, it's kind of weird to explain it but I don't know uh, so you see the audios here uh, you can with the splitting it's like it's like similar to managing the the f the frames yeah you can just make it um, uh, you can make them different volumes, you can make them 
different speeds. Yeah, you can make them like super fast, even faster. Um, so yeah, that's like basically the thing you can do. Uh, l l now let's watch this video we just made, cause I have no idea what have I done. What have I done to humanity? What have I done ever? Let me see. It's a good video, alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, super slow. <laughs> Add it in with the audio. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that was quick. That was like 20 seconds. Yeah, 24 seconds. So yeah, you can also make like a bunch of other types of videos. So what you want to do is even if it exits out, your work is still going to be completely fine no matter what. What you want to do is press over here in file, not theater, file. You, you can just name it whatever you want. Um, yeah, you name it whatever you want. You press like... Uh, 24 seconds it shows the stuff you can make it um, what kind of resolution you want what kind of quality mine is the best I can get uh, it is show it shows the the estimate of the space of how much it's gonna take uh, and if you can get it then you just press next and then after that you can press it wherever you want to uh, get the video out in case the documents and can save it as whatever you whatever name you want and press save and then depending on how long the video is it will it will show the loading bar here like right here is showing uh, it does not need Wi-Fi so if you think you need Wi-Fi to save this it doesn't need Wi-Fi see the, uh, the longer the video is the lo longer it's gonna take to load but since this video is only 25 seconds long it's taking really really fast some videos I make that are like an hour long take like an hour or so to actually save so before you can actually make this video public that you just made you have to save it here you have to save it or else these edits will not be saved at all so see right now it says five seconds four seconds three one and there you go you got it successful then press close and then move on to the next step so if you're gonna upload it to a platform like YouTube you can easily just get it from your file you can just press here well for me just to be safe I'm just gonna put a private in case it actually does upload because I'm just doing this for an example so just um, grab your file from pressing here you can just either press here and browse for it on your finder or you can just put it on your desktop and then drag it here and then just drop it off uh, video uh, private yes uh, if you Oh my god, what? No, no. Yeah, yeah, keep going down. Keep going down. This is just 20 seconds long. Come on, man. So if you if you have monetize, money money Okay, I'm not even going to pronounce that. I'm sorry. But if you have... Uh, this basically means you have... Uh, you can monetize your videos. If you have that on, just press it on. If It, it works better when you have mi um, videos with over 10 minutes. Uh, you can title uh, the video however you want. And just put in the description whatever you want. Playlist, I only have three because I'm that sad. And why is it taking so long? What? Okay, this is a glitch. It's not supposed to be taking that long. Uh, thumbnails, you can put whatever you want so it doesn't, so the video doesn't actually choose itself whatever thumbnails it wants. So like here, uh, there's some stuff here. You can just choose whatever thumbnail. You can actually make your thumbnails in pretty cheap websites, and I don't know why is it taking that long. But then after it's done, it, this line is gonna stretch all the way down here, and you're gonna have to press done. And then after that, there's like another blue line is gonna go over this one, and it's gonna tell you actually publish it. So after that's done, it's gonna be published, and it's gonna be whatever uh you want like you can make it private you can make it uh scheduled you can make it public unlisted i don't know, know what that mean i don't know what that means because i never done that before uh but yeah that's pretty much it that's what you do and once that video is uploaded you can just you can just easily delete this i i recommend you deleting all your progress on 
iMovie after the video was actually uploaded because in case it actually corrupts into um, YouTube editing because that happens a lot to me if it actually corrupts you can ha you can do it again save it again and then you can just post it again instead of having to uh, to edit the whole video all over again so to prevent it well <laughs> I have a last tip here to prevent it from backing up your computer too much with space you can just uh, press help this is my easiest way and you put theater go to theater Oh, I'm on caps lock. What go to, go to theater? Yes, and then you press projects. You delete all the traces of that movie you did. If you posted it, it's completely fine. Like right here, you can see it all. You can just select all this, delete it. Boom. It's all gone. Delete event. All gone. Oh, and yeah, there you go. You're completely. Uh, yeah. No more, and then this video just uploads, and then you can just delete that file. You can delete the gay file, and there you go. You can move on to your next video, and that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.